What's up, Zed family? Welcome back to another vlog. And today I am going to do a quick get ready with me. I am heading out to uh, Osama's office. We have a couple of TikToks to record. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm just going to do a really pretty glowy look for you guys today. It's going to be very blushed cheeks. I'm really trying to do like a very pink blush cheeks and soft glam uh, all over the face and then maybe like a nice lipstick so let's see how this turns out so to do a very glowy dewy look i'll need to do a really good skin prep and for that i'm going to use a lot of serums so i'm going to start off by using um the lancome serum and this is called uh re renegy hcf triple serum i hope i pronounced that right so what it is is it has hyaluronic acid niacinamide and um Furelic acid, it looks like this, the bottle, it's pretty cool and it has like three pumps and it actually combines all the three serums in front of you and then you just mix it. So basically they're like freshly mixed together and I'm going to just apply this to my skin and it's going to give me a really good hydrated skin. This serum I find just hydrates my skin so well. Usually serums just like seep into the skin and disappear, but this one, for some reason, just, you guys can see, it just almost is like a moisturizer, but it's a serum. And it just stays, like, I can feel that my skin is super soft after I apply it, so I really like it. Especially for those days when I'm feeling my skin is dry. And by the way, guys, this is my natural hair, all curly. I did not have time to blow dry it. I was supposed to blow dry it, but I'm like, you know what? Let's go natural today. I never really leave my natural curls because I feel like it's so puffy and crazy. Um, but I guess I kind of like them sometimes. It looks nice the first day. The problem I have with my curly hair is it looks nice the first day, okay? But when I sleep on it and wake up the next day, it's a mess. So I have to put it back in a bun. So it doesn't last for more than a day. I think that's the issue. Um, versus when I blow dry my hair, then it's set and I'm good because I won't wash my hair then for like two, three days. Okay, next, I'm going to do this drops and these are from Glow Recipe. And I'm sure you guys know about these. These are super popular. This is called Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops and they're very glowy. It just makes your skin super glowy. And that's kind of the theme of this look today, so... And you guys know how much I love skin prep. I think it's super important to prep your skin before your makeup application because all that matters is how your skin looks after you've applied makeup on it. And that's why even for my clients, like my brides, I take a good time massaging the cream and the serums into their skin because how your skin feels before you apply foundation on it, it's gonna it's gonna make a huge difference. So make sure you, your skin feels super soft and buttery before you apply any kind of makeup on it. I'm gonna uh, use the Charlotte Tilbury and this is their beautiful skin foundation. This is in the shade six and it's like exactly my color. So, oh no, oh my God. I'm so glad it did not get on my t-shirt. <gasps> this is what happens when I try to be all cute and squirt foundation on my face. Okay, let me be right back. I'm going to go wipe this. I'm going to be applying that all over my face. And it's going to really give us that glowy look that we're going for. This foundation is a beautiful, um, kind of like an everyday when you want to be extra glam. And if you're recording videos and stuff like that, uh, this is really pretty. But it isn't like full coverage, so I wouldn't recommend it really for like weddings and parties. It's more like a everyday pretty foundation. And I'm just going to tap all that in a little bit more wherever I feel like I need more coverage I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'll be right back I'm gonna use this uh, the benefit full proof brow powder and this is in the shade 5 for my eyebrows I'll be back 
Okay, so eyebrows are on and it makes such a big difference as soon as I have my eyebrows on. Um, okay, so next let's do concealer and I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury concealer and it's her new concealer. Um, let me show you guys. It's this one. Yes, it's this one. This is the concealer she just launched. It's called Beautiful Skin and I actually wore it in my last video and I told you guys I'll tell you what I think about it. And honestly, I love it. It did not crease. My concealers usually crease under my eyes and it actually didn't even crease. And I didn't even set it actually with setting powder. Um, and it still didn't crease, which is pretty amazing. I don't know what she put in here, but I did notice it has a little bit of these little, like, little shiny glitter um, things that kind of like give that radiant look because it's supposed to be a radiant concealer. Um, you can't really notice it, but like I like to like look really close and very particular about makeup <laughs> obviously being a makeup artist so i like to see every little detail and it does have like these little shimmers under the eye they almost look like little tiny glitter things but um they don't look bad it looks really nice and super radiant and i'll show you guys again like how it looks on my skin it just gives your skin like a super beautiful glow and that's kind of what I like from my concealers, but I also like my concealers to like really um, be a good coverage. So pretty, I love it. You guys know how much I like Charlotte Tilbury stuff. It's honestly very pretty and it is expensive, but it's worth it and it does last long. Um, most of her products do last, last forever when you're using it on yourself. Obviously, as a makeup artist, when I'm using it on all my clients and brides, I go through makeup so fast. I'm going to go in now with um, a little bit of a bronzer. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Bronzer in the shade Medium. And love this bronzer as well. Um, I just love the color of this bronzer. It's just something about it. It just makes your skin look super radiant. And I'm only using very little, like right on the corners today, because um, today's look is going to be a very blushed look. And it's going to be like all super pink blush. I'm going to go ahead and put the blush now. And it's a new blush I received. And this is from Huda Beauty called Burning Cherry. And I tried a little bit of it, you guys. And it was so... Uh, you have to be very careful because it it's very pigmented um i just took a little bit but i can show you guys like it's super pigmented but such a pretty color and i'm gonna apply it all over here and see how it goes just tap into it this is cream so hopefully it blends really um easily try to kind of make a line first of where you want your blush to be mostly so you guys can see, I'm kind of creating this line of where I want my blush to be, okay? It looks really funny right now, but let's let's blend it out. <laughs> now we can blend it out and try not to blend it out too much like everywhere. Again, just stay with that line that you created and just go back and forth. I put a little more right here. Didn't realize how pigmented these are, but it's so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and apply more on the other side. And I know I look crazy, but I'm going to come back and blend it with my beauty blender. I think that's enough blush. I literally look like I got burnt. But um, we're going to fix that. We're going to go in with that same beauty blender that has a little bit of foundation. And I'm just going to tap it all over. And that's just going to blend all that blush into my skin and make it look like I'm basically glowing from within. This is my natural cheek blush. Now you guys can see how pretty does my skin look. <laughs> it's it's super glowy um, and that's kind of the look that we were going for. You guys can see how pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little more blush on top of the blush that we already applied. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beauty Wand in Pinkgasm. Tap that again right where I really want my blush to be the most concentrated. And then we're going to blend that in. 
guys can see up close how glowy my skin looks. It's so pretty. I'm gonna now go in with a powder blush. With all this cream products, you definitely want to set this blush um, because we use so much cream. I'm gonna use this light pink um, powder and this is uh, from Motives Cosmetics. It's in peachy pink. It's a super old blush that I've had uh, for a very long time and I'm just gonna apply that right on my cheeks again where I had applied the first blush. And this is just gonna set all that blush that we applied. And you guys can see from far away. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little more concealer. Um, and it's just gonna be right there and right there where I just wanna apply a little more highlight. And same with the beauty blender again. I'm just gonna blend that out. And this is just gonna make sure that any blush that did get very close to your eye kind of disappears. Okay. Perfect, that is good. And then I'm gonna set my whole face with um, Huda Beauty and this is her um, Cherry Blossom Cake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. So I'm gonna take that and apply most of the product right there in the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just gonna tap and blend. Good, I'm gonna just apply a little bit of a shadow to my eyes and for eyeshadow I'm gonna be using um, this little thing. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's her Celestial Pearl Luxury Palette and it's just kind of like um, shimmery tones for glitter eyeshadows. I find using your fingers is the best because the color comes out so much nicer. You guys see? Okay, let's do that for the other side. And it's literally just going to brighten my eyes. That's it. I'm just going to put only that much. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on and eyeliner and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I've applied the eyeliner and mascara on my eyes. I literally just put a little bit of a wing and then just the mascara everywhere. And I'm gonna now do my lips, but before that, let's do highlight. And for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighter, and this is how it looks. And I'm going to apply um, these two colors. Just be careful with this one. It is pretty dark and bronzy, so I'm trying to um, avoid that one because I want it to be like light and glowy for today. So not a lot of bronzing and right on my cheeks, super glowy for today. That's exactly what I wanted. And it's such a pretty, like, um, even like when you want to do like a fast office glam, I think this could totally be a nice work glam. So cute. Okay, so now lip liner. And for lip liner, I'm going to be using... Um, this lip liner I have, it's from KKW. It's a uh, Mauve 2, Mauve 2, Mauve 2, that's what it's called. And I'm just gonna be lining my lips. And yeah, that's a pretty cute color. Uh, I don't think KKW is selling her uh, lip liners or actually any of her makeup anymore she kind of um kim kardashian closed her brand uh unfortunately she has such nice lip liners and lipsticks and lip colors i really hope she relaunches her lipsticks because they're so nice anyways um i'm just going to go in now with lipstick and for lipstick i'm using um this is called patrick ta oh she's single Yep, and it looks like this. It's a really pretty nude. Ooh, such a pretty color. Kind of goes with my outfit. It's like this um, rusty color orange outfit that I'm wearing today. Okay, 
So lipstick is on and then we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of an ombre and for that I'm going to be using this YSL color. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's their Rouge Volup Volup Shine uh, 141 I believe. It's like this and it's glossy and has a little bit of glitter and it's pretty red so I'm going to just use it right inside my lip right there this is a trick i love doing with my nude lips when i feel like it's too nude and i want some color in my nude you can just take a dark shade and put it in the inside and just kind of blend it out and you guys can see such a pretty lip color i love it there you go you guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i love how it turned out very blushy cheeks and a super pretty glowy look and tell me what you guys want to see next i know some of you guys asked for a bridal look and if you really want to see tell me which bridal look you want to see if there's a specific one i would love to create a bridal look for you guys and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial Bye.